Tomorrow is election day. As you know, it's the day that you decide whether for the next four years we make jokes about President Mitt Romney <laughs> or jokes about former governor Mitt Romney. That's your call. Yeah. It's really, that's the decision. It's really up to you. Because no one, Obama. <laughs> that's me voting. The big lever? Yeah, I've never voted with the big lever. I've, I've voted with the, Have you, anyone here voted with the big lever? Have you done that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Three of you. Even that got a woo. Yeah. I'm talking about voting in 1944. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you pull a big route. Yeah, lever. yeah. Check this out, gang. In Florida, the lines for early voting are nine hours long. Nine hours. Which is too bad, because it's Florida. A lot of those people don't have nine hours. <laughs> True. Oh, that you like, okay. It's a pro-death crowd. Yeah! Get him! Get him! I don't know if you heard about this. In Ohio yesterday, a man who heckled President Obama was carried away by four police officers. Yeah, not because he was a danger, but because anytime you carry a person from Ohio, you need four people. Yeah. You, have to get, it's, you have to use your lower back. They hate the elderly and fat people. Yeah. <laughs> there is good news. Check this out. The end of the election means that negative political ads will finally stop. <laughs> That's good. It's true. After tomorrow, the only two people attacking each other on TV will be Nicki Minaj and Mariah Carey. <laughs> no. This weekend, Bristol Palin's baby daddy, Levi Johnston, married the mother of his new baby, and he wore camouflage at the ceremony. Yeah, I guess Levi wanted his wife and new baby to get used to not seeing him. <laughs> Why would you wear camouflage? That makes no sense. I don't know, maybe a, a bear was gonna attack or something. <laughs> it is Alaska. They love to attack weddings. Yeah. Uh, I don't know who went to the movies, but the Disney animated movie Wreck-It Ralph was tops at the box office. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, a lot of kids were disappointed because Wreck-It Ralph is about Ralph Nader and the 2000 election. <laughs> kids were like, I don't get it. Yeah. Um, yeah, why, why is it animated? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you saw this last week, the Mars rover stretched out its robotic arm and took a picture of itself. <laughs> In other words, America's greatest technological achievement has turned into a 14-year-old girl with Instagram. <laughs> I couldn't believe that. Check me out. Check out my new top. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried about what other photos will start coming in from the ro Oh, Rover. Oh, Rover, please. Sorry. <laughs> that was meant just for you. <laughs> <laughs> I told you not to show anyone else. <laughs> the Rover doesn't speak. So stupid. <laughs> in Austin, Texas, a brawl broke out involving 17 strippers. Strippers. So regardless of what happens tomorrow, America is still the greatest country on earth. <laughs>